Okay. So it's going to affect metabolism, brain, cardiovascular function, if you don't have enough of these amino acids. And it's super common. And that's why so many of our patients have multiple symptomatic profiles where they're depressed, they're anxious, their guts don't work well, their hormones are screwed up, they're, you know, they're, they're not oxygen carrying capacity isn't that great, they can't exercise very easily because they have global problems that are affecting all these different systems. I mean, single problems that are global that are affecting all these different systems. So then the next question becomes like, how could these get depleted in the first place? Well, in functional medicine, we have a bias. And, you know, I think the first answer for why is anything wrong is GI inflammation, you know, because you can kind of always count on that as your friend in terms of screwing people up. So GI inflammation, super common, malabsorption, meaning maybe you're eating enough dietary protein, but you're not absorbing the amino acids very well. Heavy metal exposure will do it. Why? Just like with mold exposure and H. pylori infection, because those are taxing on the body. They put us into a catabolic state. We start to break tissues down and we're not building up, okay? And we lose um, amino acids due to all those different uh, reasons right there. Now, one super important ramification of losing one of these three amino acids, which would be glutamine, cysteine, glycine, the three that make up glutathione, is that then you can't make enough glutathione. So it's an, originally started off as an amino acid problem, but now it's a much bigger problem in a way, but the problem is sort of spreading because now you don't have enough glutathione, so you can't clear the mercury or the mold or the other toxins in the body. And this is why a lot of people get sick because something caused one of these amino acids to drop, their glutathione levels aren't so great, they're not methylating very well, 